What's up, everyone? Welcome to Cracker. Uh, yesterday was Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone, I guess, if you got your Valentine's. Uh, my fiance and I, we really don't really mess around with Valentine's Day any, that much anymore. Which is like, eh, you know, occasionally we'll do something. But last night basically, basically consisted of uh, McDonald's for dinner and um, just watching movies. <laughs> that was about it. And The Big Bang Theory. Watch that. Uh, good stuff. Um, got a one comic to review, and I uh, got a shipment in today, which is cool. And uh, I'm going to talk about some stuff, of course. Uh, I was looking at the Philadelphia Comic Con, which uh, even though I prom promised my fiance I wouldn't go down anymore, I was kind of looking, I was like, hey, they got Henry Winkler's going to be there. I was like, the Fonz. I was like, I'd love to get a picture of him skull like that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> and the Green Ranger's going to be there. I was like, All right, that could be cool. It could be really cool. So who knows? Maybe I'll be going to that one. We'll see. Um, but as for Valentine's Day, like I was saying, uh, I had got my fiance that free poster from Thailand, and I got her a candle that she wanted, and she turned around and got me a very cool gift. Very cool. It's not comic book related, but it's cool nonetheless. Um, I'll show it to you. I'm going to unplug it for us now. Uh, she got me this thing, which looks like a Walkman, which it is a Walkman, as it tapes. They put the, uh, your tape in there, but what this does is it turns all your music from tapes into mp3s which is awesome because I have stacks and stacks and stacks of cassettes that are all I must have about two to three hundred cassettes that are all mixtapes of songs that I can't find anywhere because I don't know what the name of them are um, so it sucks I've been trying to find the names I was like ah, I can't play the tapes because I don't want them to rip or burn out I'm screwed and uh, she had found this, and she's like, oh, I got this thing, so you can turn all your tapes in it. So basically, all last night, I was putting tapes into MP3s, and it works really, really good. I'm very impressed, and uh, I'm very tired. <laughs> I have, you know, so many more to go, but I'm just happy, because I'm putting them on, uh, making MP3s out of them, turning them into CDs, and fixing their sound quality, uh, which is cool, because it's got a program in here, you can actually mess with the sound quality, make it better. Um... If it's grainy, you can fix it, you know, all that stuff. So it's impressive. It's very, very cool. And uh, I was like, damn it, I got you a, a candle and a free post. Um, hey, she says she got it because she doesn't want the stuff all over the floor anymore. She's like, at least you can, you know, box that stuff up now or throw it out or whatever you want to do. It's like, I don't want to throw them out. I was like, but, you know, I can box them up. And uh, now that I have them onto CDs or on my computer, very cool. Um, I don't know if I really mentioned it, but I watched Arrow on Wednesday and I'm... Um, I'm still amazed. I'm loving the show. I'm glad it got picked up for a second season. Uh, very, very cool. The one on Wednesday was amazing. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. But just think uh, the real Deathstroke. <laughs> very cool. Anyway, before I show you, go to my view of my haul, I also want to talk about uh, the Amazing Spider-Man sequel. Oh, man. I think it's going to start to wind up heading towards the Spider-Man 3 movie. Because they're really, they're putting too much stuff in there now. Um, they're not really rumors, but they're, I guess technically they are. I guess the plot is the rumor, but the cast isn't. Um, everyone knows that, you know, Electro, Jamie Foxx has been cast as Electro when he's in it. And uh, Paul Giamatti now is confirmed as the Rhino. Which is cool because the only, the only reason I think it's cool is because it's characters that you haven't seen yet. So I'm kind of like, alright, that's kind of cool, you know, you're throwing different characters in there. Then they said they were going to have a cameo from uh, Morbius, but not as the vampire, as the doctor slash scientist. Which would be cool, because it's, you know, it's kind of like, alright, you know, you're putting people in there, a little cameo, it's very cool. Then they said they're going to have, well, it's confirmed that Harry Osborn's in it, so it's like, okay, fine, alright. Then they confirmed that Mary Jane is going to be in it now, so it's like you got Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane now, you're like, alright, alright. Now it's confirmed that the Black Cat is going to be in the damn movie. Which, I'm a huge Black Cat fan, but come on, man, they're, they're really, they're throwing so much stuff in there at once, it, it's just, it's like, calm down, you know, do, you don't need 50 villain, villains, you don't need 50 villains, you don't need, you know, a thousand different things, I mean, if you're gonna do them as cameos, okay, but, I don't know, I, it just kinda gets me, and then, the rumor that I heard of this, the plot line, good God, um, because of course, uh, not just the movie companies, but the toy companies, you know, they want to pump out, they want the movies pumped out so they can pump out the toys, 
and supposedly they, they want a Venom spinoff, and they want that hurried because they were going to have a Venom spinoff from the original Spider-Mans, but it never happened because it bombed so badly. And um, so now they're like, the toy company, we want Venom and Carnage, we want Venom and Carnage because they're the most popular, we want them as toys. And it's like, oh my god. So supposedly the rumored storyline I heard, which if it's true, I don't even know if I even want to see it, and, and I'm like I said, I'm a Spider-Man fan, it, it just, it's going to be sad if it's true. Um, besides Electro and the Rhino, put them to the, the back burner thing. Supposedly the rumor now is that Morbius, uh, is the Doctor Slash Scientist Morbius, comes up with the Venom symbiote suit, like they did in Ultimate uh, Marvel Comics Spider-Man, where Peter Parker's dad came up with the symbiote suit as a form of curing cancer. Uh, and this, supposedly the rumor, Morbius comes up with it. Harry Osborn tries to steal it to save his father, and w it winds up getting on him and turning him into Venom, like they did in uh, uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, which is interesting. It's an interesting twist because it's like, you know, you got Harry Osborn now as Venom. But, let's put that aside. He becomes Venom, turns around, bites Morbius, and Morbius turns into the vampire. Oh, God, my head hurts just from thinking if that's true. Oh, my God. And then on top of that, you got Black Cat, Mary Jane, and Gwen Stacy all in the one movie. I, I, I hope it's I hope it's not true. I re, I really do, because if it is, it's gonna bite. They're gonna put way too much crap in there at once, and it's just gonna be like what what what. Anyway, let me do a small review here on Amazing Spider-Man number four, which I got from my friend, which is pretty cool. It's uh, Spider-Man: The Fantastic Four versus two members of the Frightful Four, Sandman and the Trapster, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Sandman's supposedly still good in here. One of the good guys, and this is where he turns. Uh, he's protecting some senator, and the um, a trapster shows up and tries to kill the senator. And Spider-Man shows up, and you know he's like, uh, "I thought you turned, you know, uh, straight. You know, went straight, whatever that thing is. You know, not, not, you know, you know." <laughs> um, and then Sandman, uh, he's like, "All right, he's like, Sandman, you got my back." And Sandman's like, "Yeah, I'm right behind you." Just nails him with a with a sand punch. Sand punch. <laughs> and then Fantastic Four shows up and they all kick each other's ass and then Sandman traps there kind of disappears. Wasn't a bad issue though. Very cool. <laughs> Moving on to my haul. I finally got Batman number 17 so I can find out how the hell that stuff ended. Uh, that's kind of one of the reasons I haven't been watching a lot of videos because I'm like, I don't want to know yet. I don't want to know. So that's going to be cool. I got uh, Batman and Robin number 17. Batgirl number 17. Who knew that she had just a me such a messed up brother? <laughs> I got uh, Katana number one. I forget what the hell. Uh, the new Ghostbusters number one. Which I didn't know what the cover was going to be because they said it was one of four random covers you could get when I got it from Midtown. Which technically this is the, the last of my Midtown shipments. Sort of. My hair's going crazy again. It's laundry day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, I have um, the Guardians of the Galaxy number one coming around, and I have uh, the Age of Ultron, and that's like the last, so I haven't ordered anything since. So uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, this was actually a really good cheap deal. This was 77 cents in fine condition, Incredible Hulk number 378. I just thought it was cool with Santa, and for 77 cents, it's not that bad. Moving on. Avengers Arena number four, X-23 vs. Darkhawk. Very cool. Cable and X-Force, number four. I'm a Colossus fan, so that's pretty much why I'm sticking with it. Uh, Fantastic Four, number four. Uh, this is supposedly the final uh, issue of X-Men. X-Men, number 41. Which is probably, obviously, the way Marvel goes isn't true. It's the last issue of the current X-Men, I guess. And they'll have another X-Men, number one, shortly, I'm sure. Uh, Wolverine and the X-Men number 25. And this I'm actually looking forward to, seeing how it goes. Uh, Uncanny X-Men number 1. Which, uh, that's an awesome Cyclops cover, and I think Kostin Bromstar said it. It would have been cooler if he shot, like, uh, his optic blast was the, sh the X shape. That'd be cool. <laughs> but they probably didn't think of that. 
And I got the variant one to that with Deadpool, which is uh, the State Bird variant. All 50 and then some on one cover. <laughs> Try not to go variant crazy, but that was funny. <laughs> and that was the last one of my new holes. Yeah, yeah. That's why I look crazy, because I'm tired from doing all the tapes. And I'm, not, I'm like, oh yeah, I got more. No, I don't. Um, anyway, fun episode. Fun episode, indeed. Uh, you should check out uh, Doc and Hallett because uh, his video on how to preserve your comics was uh, really really cool so check that out uh, it was very impressive you know with the the micro chambers and all that stuff um, good stuff and hippies collectibles is down to 33 or 34 spidey comics he needs to complete his run that's impressive that is impressive I can't wait to get to that number <laughs> I'm sitting there I'm like wow I only need 500 something more I'm like all right yeah <laughs> well not that much but close close I think I need a at least two or three hundred uh, Spider-Mans left, <laughs> but I'm I'm going crazy. I'm going all of them, the whole volume one and two, all the annuals, whoosh, getting them all eventually. Um, which kind of pisses me off a little bit because I actually had a line on a really cheap, nice shape Amazing Spider-Man number one, and I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my god, it was like it was, how much was it? I think it was like nine hundred and fifty bucks. Which isn't bad for, uh, I believe it was fine condition, which is pretty good. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, I was like, that's a lot of money, but it's really cheap. And you try to convince yourself, you're like, ah, I, um, uh. I'm sitting there, and I'm like, if I buy it, my fiance's gonna kick my ass. But then I'd have number one, and I'm like, ah, yeah. and um, it's like the old saying, when you see it, buy it. Otherwise, if you go back, it's probably not gonna be there. And that's pretty much what happened. I was sitting in the parking lot, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, ah, I don't want to, uh, it was at like this little, um, trade show kind of thing I went to, uh, yesterday. See, Valentine's Day doesn't really mean that much, but, um, <laughs> like I said, my fiance went shopping for something, uh, her, actually her mom's birthday today, so happy birthday to my future mother-in-law. Um, she went shopping for her birthday stuff, and I was sitting there, and they had like a little trade, flea market kind of looking thing, uh, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, ah, and I'm looking, and this guy had it, and I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god. And I'm sitting here, and I'm like, I can run to the bank, I can get the money, I can go back and get it. And I was like, ah, but you'll kick my ass, I don't know. And by the time I decided, because I'm like, you know what, maybe the guy takes credit card, I'll just go in there and pfft. went back in, and it was gone. I was like, do you have, what happened to Mason Spider-Man? He's like, oh, he's like, I just sold it. I'm like, son of a bitch. But that's how it works. And I'm kind of glad I didn't get it, because I know my fiance would really beat the crap out of me if she found out I spent that kind of money. Um, but then I'd have to turn around and go, but it's an investment book. <laughs> Anyway, uh, if you like what you see, please hit the like button. If you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I forget what else I have coming around. I don't think I have any... Yeah, actually, I do. I ordered from another another comic book store. And I'm going to try to actually go to a comic book store this Wednesday. I'm going to try to film. So, uh, actually, I want to bring the camera with me just in case something else happens. So I figured, what the hell? <laughs> if another fight breaks out, I'll have it, I'll have it on film. Um, one other thing I'm actually going to put up soon... Which you might not be interested in, but what the hell, I'm putting up there. Uh, I had made these old videos, like about, maybe four, four or five years ago. And, um, I had lost all the data on them. Like, I put them on my Facebook page. And, uh, lost all the, the backup data for it. And I'm like, ah. And I was looking through my Facebook stuff, like, oh my god, I remember that stuff. And, um, so I retaped them, uh, on, from Facebook on my camera, and I'm going to load them up later, which was basically, uh, I was trying to make a Mortal Kombat fan film uh, movie, which I have all my friends cast as certain characters, which is pretty cool, and um, I had made a video of my favorite superheroes and villains, which is pretty cool, and then I had one where it's all my artwork, uh, so I might put them all up in periodical states here and there, so if you like that kind of stuff, stay tuned for it, you'll see it. And it's not the size of your man kit that matters, it's how much stuff you clear out of it. <laughs> Later.